Hey guys, this is Victor with DIY Time and today I would like to share a quick tip about drive bell replacement on this 2005 Ford E450 Super Duty minibus with 7.3 liter engine. This one has custom aftermarket dual AC system. It has not one but two AC compressors, one for the driver's cabin and one for the passenger's compartment. The owner of the car didn't replace the drive belt timely and eventually it snapped and left him stranded. And since this car has additional AC compressor added to the system, the regular drive belt routing diagram would no longer work. So now, since the drive belt is already snapped, we had to figure out two things. Number one, what's the proper length of the drive belt and two, how to route it properly. So if you're working on the same type of car with the same issue, hopefully this will help you to save a lot of time and frustration. So number one, the new routing diagram should look something like this, with the second compressor added around this area and a drive belt routed like such. And number two, after much trial and errors, we found the correct belt that would fit this new arrangement of the pulleys. And if you're interested, I'm gonna leave a link in the description area below where you can buy it. Alright, that's pretty much it. I hope this will help someone and thank you for watching.